Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be making a 70s style glam rock cake with plenty of colour. I've got here a 6 inch cake which is a double barrel, meaning it's taller than your average tier at around 7 inch high. It's been pre-covered in white paste ready to go. I've cut out some lightning bolt shapes from greaseproof paper. I just traced one on as a template and cut four out. You want to smear Trex or Crisco to the back of your template and stick it onto the front of your cake. To stop those pesky corners from lifting, you can pin them down with acupuncture needles. Then apply three more bolt shapes around the sides and back. Time to get messy. Grab yourself a large baking tin or a roasting tray and place an upturned bowl in the centre to use as a stand. This is to try and stop most of your sprinkles escaping. Place your cake on top of the bowl and brush all the exposed sugar paste with piping gel, avoiding the very top. Then you'll want your sprinkles of choice. I chose this sweeter Polita mix which included all the colours I wanted to use. It's called Wanderlust. There are lots of mixes out there in different colours and shapes, so have a little experiment. Tip your sprinkles into a bowl. You can see all the different types of sprinkles from long pieces down to tiny stars. Start sticking your sprinkles to the side of the cake, using a spoon to scoop them and your fingers to push them on the surface. It helps to keep your hands piping gel free. Well, you have less sticky hands than you would if you pressed them on with your palm. Go around the whole cake, making sure sprinkles fill in all the gaps around the lightning bolt shapes. When you're done, gently remove the greaseproof shapes. Roll out some white paste with Tylo powder added. I then pass mine through a pasta machine to get it all one thickness. Lay one of your templates onto the paste and cut round it with a sharp scalpel. Do this for all four of your shapes. Next, on some greaseproof paper, make two more templates. These were completely randomly drawn shapes just using a ruler and a pencil. Try different angles for a different effect. Cut the templates out and use them on your white paste. Once you have one cut out, flip the template over and cut out a mirror image of it. Two of the smaller shape and two of the larger shape. Using piping gel, paint the inside of the bolt shape and gently place your cut out inside. If any sprinkles get in the way of you laying it flat, just manoeuvre them with your scalpel. Busting my favourite gold dust out again, I mix this with lemon extract to make a paint. I've linked everything in the description box as usual. Paint all your lightning bolts in it. PME Clear Glaze Spray will help to keep the sprinkles in place. It will give them a shine and protect the colour a little. Now I'm using dummies for this specific cake, but you just dowel yours as usual if it was a real one. It will be an 8 inch in its ganache state stuck to the drum. I'm just using ganache to stick the tears together. Cover the drum in white paste using the toilet seat method. I've linked it above in the iCard for the full length tutorial. Using some hot pink Renshaws with Tylo added, roll out a piece on your mat and then hand cut a leaf shape with the scalpel. With the sharp end of the Dresden tool, run two lines close together down the centre, like the middle of a feather. Then go down both edges adding lines in by pulling out from the centre. Then spend your entire evening cutting the same thing over and over and over again. If yours is a real cake, you'll just want to add water onto the ganache. If it's a dummy, you'll want to add piping gel. Then, starting from the bottom, add your pink feathers, covering all the gaps and twisting and turning them to make it look random. 
Keep going until the entire tier is covered. Say goodbye to your evening. The top tier is a 4 inch cake already pre-covered. If you struggle with covering I have a tutorial for it on my channel. I'm covering the whole thing in teal airbrush colour, just building it up in layers. Once that's dry, stack it on top. Again, this is just a dummy so I don't need dowels. Once your shapes have set, you can airbrush the smaller set in hot pink. Just build up the colour gradually. The taller set can be painted in the same gold. Leave them to dry before handling. Pop your pink ones on first with a little water or royal icing, then the gold ones in front. I was short on time when making this dummy, when am I not? And it was also an insanely hot melty week so I chose my favourite stuff foam core to finish off the topper. I just drew around a cutter and cut it out with a scalpel. Next roll out some hot pink paste large enough to cover the heart. Flip it over and use piping gel to adhere the sides. Then trim the excess off with your scalpel. As the centre is foam, you can easily slide a cocktail stick in place, a quick and easy topper. Now I'm just painting on roughly with gold paint. If you want a neater look, you can trace some text on to follow. Insert this into the top tier and add some sprinkle detail by picking strands up on a paintbrush with piping gel. For a last touch, water down some fuchsia gel with water and paint over the lines on your feathers. This step is optional but it does make a difference. So this cake was made for a very cool photo shoot based on a 70s summer glam rock wedding. It was for the launch of a brand new wedding directory which I'll link below. I was channeling the colourful claws, the glitz, the fluffy feather jackets and Bowie's iconic lightning bolt. These images were taken by the fabulously talented Kate Jackson Photography and Assassination. Hope you enjoyed this one, if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave me a comment below, I do read them all. Thanks guys, see you next week.